Normally we use a variety of microphones and input sources to create the sounds that we're looking for. And this weekend, Sennheiser was generous enough to provide us with our entire input list. So we really wanted to put all the mics to the test. So this is our main stage here at the Lafayette campus. Uh, this weekend we have nine uh, band members playing. It can fluctuate anywhere from eight to 12. Uh, so really great band this weekend. Let's start in uh, with our vocal mics. So we're using all digital 6000 for vocals and instruments. Our lead vocal is using the Neumann KK205 capsule. And right in the middle here, we have the 965 capsule, a little hypercardioid. And then these three vocalists are all using 9235s. Um, so we have six channels of digital 6000 handhelds. And then additionally, we're using two belt packs for instruments. And that includes uh, this digital 6000 belt pack for violin. Uh, it just plugs right into her pickup. And then uh, for one song, we have acoustic guitar here and that is uh, a digital 6000 as well. All right, so here's our drum kit over here, and we got a lot of mics happening. Let's start with the kick right in the front. Uh, we got a 902 and uh, a sub kick, which uh, gives us a really well-balanced and blended kick tone. Uh, over on the snare here, we have my newest favorite mic, the MD441. Sounds amazing. And then on the bottom, we uh, added a 604 uh, for both top and bottom snare. We have three toms in this setup, and we like to use the 904s. Uh, those have really worked well on the toms. We've also added recently bottom mics to the toms. We're using 604s on the bottom, and they just kind of give it a, a, a beefier sound with less attack, so we kind of blend the two. And then over on hi-hat here, we have a E609. Uh, I've been miking the bottom of the hi-hat. And then the overheads are MKH 800s, which are super pristine and really flexible mics. Right now we have them in figure eight pattern, which allows us to reject a lot of the other stage noise so they can just focus on the cymbals, and that's really helpful. All of these mics are going right into a, a Grace preamp that we have right here in this rack. And uh, the nice thing about that is with the short cable run and direct network control, we don't have to worry about going through the floor pockets with longer cable length and sacrificing any sound quality there. So we like to put a really high quality preamp as close to the mics as possible, and then control it all from a computer at front of house. Uh, all the audio goes out on the Dante network, so, uh, so it's really, really flexible. We can throw a preamp basically anywhere on stage and uh, plug and play for different types of channels. We'd like to look at the electrics for a second. And our electric players, they like to have the freedom to move around okay, when they're getting into the music. And so we like to put them on wireless packs as well. Right now we're using the Sennheiser D1 system, which is a, another digital wireless that operates in another spectrum from the digital 6000. Uh, so it gives us nice, nice flexibility there. That's going into this amp modeling unit, which sounds really great. And then if we go up to the front here, uh, our other lead player is using a, a standard pedal board with some really sweet pedals. And the, the signal there is also on a Sennheiser D1 wireless as well. The D1 does a great job of maintaining the integrity of the signal and sounds basically just like you plugged in a cable. So then out of the pedal board, where does the sound go? So we're gonna go back here real quick where all the amplifiers are. And recently we were able to build this cool wall to house all the amps together. It has permanent patching and uh, mic lines and, and guitar lines going right to it. So the guitar players, as they're trying to find different sounds, they can just change the patch bay uh, to another amp really easily without having to move it around. But of course, consistently across the board, uh, we really like to use Sennheiser 906 mics for their consistency and body and clarity. And they work really well on all kinds of different cabs. All right, so let's head out here to the middle of the room where we have front of house and all the mix happens. So here we have our broadcast engineer, Ryan Lynette, and, and our awesome volunteer, Randy Jimenez. They're working on the mix for this weekend with all the Sennheiser mics, and it's sounding really good. Uh, we also have two computers set up next to them, a Pro Tools HD rig and a Nuendo rig that allows us to do virtual sound check and also record and do post-production for the web. So these guys are mixing on, uh, on Yamaha consoles. We have a CL5 here at front of house and one in the monitor pit. Um, so it's really great to have an infrastructure that's flexible and allows us to get so many channels in, in lots of different places all at once. All right, that concludes our audio walkthrough at Flatirons Church. Thanks for stopping by.